<clears throat> hey, this thing's like her. This morning I woke up wondering the oddest thing. It's like, what would Patty look like without all this thick fur on her face? We don't know. We've never seen that. So I decided to, to tackle that head on and I drug out a little 3D bust of a female and I just started pulling and shifting and moving things around and making something smaller and some things larger. And at this point, she was still kind of within the human realm, maybe. And then right around in here, maybe not. Right around here, she started becoming something altogether different. Um, something not human, not, not great ape. Something strangely somewhere off in between. And look at these massive mandibles here which we see on Patty. I mean, look at that jaw. That is a massive jaw. And something else odd about Patty, I've never really noticed her cheekbones. Look how high those cheekbones are, how prominent, and, and more, even, more strangely, how far back they are on her face. As something else odd, how they're kind of in line with this tiny little short nose like that. Uh, something else odd, we don't see ears on Patty. So I had to make sure I made these, these tiny little tucked away ears back there, like tucked away back behind these cheekbones. And so uh, getting closer here, this took me, you know, a few hours of just tinkering with and came up with that. And here, let me give her some eyes. Now, I'm not saying this is exact, but, you know, if you look at the two, you, you see the brows line up, you see the nose lines up. And the mouth lines up. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is approximately what Patty, what, what Forest Giants, Bigfoot, Sasquatch, what they would look like without fur. Now, I don't see a big lummoxing beast. I see a, a very hardy, very robust very noble, very intelligent looking species here. And I mean, look at that cranium. There, there could be a massive brain in there. And if size matters, um, and it does when it comes to brains, their brains are a lot larger than ours. So, you know, maybe there's a reason why they find us. We don't find them. These guys and gals might be that intelligent. And what's funny about this? Skeptics still like to believe that three struggling cowboys back in 1967 were able to conceive a face like this and produce it. Uh, and, and the problem with that argument is that we saw, I mean, we can go see right now, werewolf movies and monster movies made in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s. And, and frankly, special effects makeup it was kind of a joke back then, you know? I mean, now it's really sophisticated. Now we have 3D special effects and all that stuff. They didn't have that stuff then. They didn't even have the, all, all the latex materials and all that back then. And the really, the really big hole in that argument is why if one or all three of these men were master craftsmen like this, why did they never capitalize it, capitalize on it ever again in the rest of their lives? I mean, these guys should have hung up their spurs, moved to Hollywood, and made a fortune making monster movies. But they didn't do that. Why? I, I believe the reason is simple. I don't believe they made this mask. I don't believe this is a mask. What, what I see is, is a very low profile, very intelligent looking face with features like, like, look at the heavy brow, which is probably come out even further, a heavy brow that would protect the eyes and these, these big giant cheekbones would protect these little ears. This looks like a face that could move through heavy punishing brush w without ripping off ears and, and, and damaging facial features like that. This looks like a species that was built to live where it does, which is, you know, out in the wilds, out on the fringe 
of where we humans couldn't live. So, so what do you think? Does this look like a living, breathing species? Is this, is this believable to you? I mean, for me, seeing Patty here, what she might look like with that fur, it gives me a, a whole, whole new appreciation for, for this species. You know, I don't see some big lummoxing giant that, that carries clubs around. I, I see, I, I see another uh, a, a people. You know, not human, but but something not not too far away. So so could this be some relic from the past that managed to you know that was intelligent enough clever enough to live alongside man without us and our numbers killing them out you know it wasn't that long ago where science said hey we might have been wrong about dinosaurs all along about their appearance they might have been covered in in in, in feathers head to toe so maybe science got early man wrong too maybe our our early ancestors and their cousins maybe they were covered in thick heavy fur maybe patty is what a caveman looked like or cave woman in her case it's it's at least possible all right, everybody, that's all I've got. I just wanted to show you that. I thought you would get a kick out of seeing a, a furless patty, what she might look like. Uh, and hey, special thanks. I've got now over 2,000 patrons and YouTube members, uh, and their monthly support makes, makes it possible for me to spend time doing things like this, making these videos and then doing animations and and doing all the tests and all that I do to make these videos and all the time that it takes one guy to do all of this. Thank you all so very much. And it's just a buck a month, you know, so I appreciate each and every one of those $1 bills. And some people pay more, but what one is all I ask. And also special thanks to everybody buying my book out on YouTube. It is doing very well out there. So thank you all so very much. And for everybody who buys my books and caps and t-shirts and beanies that I designed down below. Thanks again. And hey, I, I am almost at 100,000 subscribers, uh, just, just a few thousand away. So if you don't mind, uh, click the subscribe button. It's free. And uh, I, I would sure appreciate that. All right, everybody, take care. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about our, our furless patty here. Does this look like a believable, living, breathing species? All right, take care.